I'm Paul Mulligan, faculty member here at Babson College, where I also serve as faculty director for our full-time MBA program and as a faculty member here in the School of Executive Education. I came to Babson 14 years ago after a 20-year career in the financial services industry. A large percentage of my research and much of my teaching centers around trying to corral this elusive concept we call service excellence. At times, it provokes memories of Justice Potter. We struggle to define service excellence, yet we seem to recognize it when in its presence. One of the reasons it's so difficult to define is that it's contextual. It varies by industry, varies by transaction setting, and often varies by customer or customer segment. Despite these challenges, it's critical for managers to understand the drivers of service excellence for their company and their customers. Our organizational confidence in service excellence is what we're really measuring with those customer satisfaction surveys. Highly satisfied customers become loyal customers, and loyal customers drive growth and profitability. Trying to grow your organization in the absence of loyal customers is like trying to fill a water bucket that has a hole in the bottom. And our research regularly demonstrates that our loyal customers are often our most profitable. One of the ways in which we help managers comprehend the drivers of service excellence for their companies is through service excellence. The first service simulation operationalizes service excellence by creating a customer loyalty index. That index rises and falls based upon a management team's ability to recognize and appropriately invest in the drivers of service excellence. It's fascinating for me to watch teams as they peel that onion and uncover the real drivers of growth and profitability for their organization. At the end of the simulation, we debrief, helping the managers to translate that learning into the context of their company and their customers. Thank you for visiting Babson Insight. I hope you enjoy the articles, and perhaps we'll see you in one of our programs soon.